Welcome to another video family. Today we've got Milton from the channel called The Modeler. And this video is the Tim Ferriss technique, how to get more done in less time. So thank you, Milton, uh, straight out of Mozambique, South Africa. Thank you for coming on the channel and yeah, all the best. I hope this video makes you 1% better. Tim Ferriss is one of the most talented modelers I've heard about. Here's why I say this. Some years ago, Tim won a gold medal at the Chinese Kickboxing National Championship with only four weeks of preparation. He won all the fights by technical knockout in a competition where, according to him, almost all fighters had from five to ten years of experience. How he did it? He did it by modeling the best and effectively applying what he had learned. As Tim himself said, it wasn't because I was good at punching and kicking. I won by reading the rules and looking for unexploited opportunities. Some of the main techniques he used in the championship were modeled from elite powerlifters and Olympic wrestlers. The dehydration and hyperhydration techniques he modeled from them allowed him to lose and gain weight in a very short period of time, something the other fighters didn't know about, which gave him a very decent advantage over his opponents. By modeling the best powerlifters and wrestlers, Tim was both productive and effective. He learned only what was necessary and applied it. He focused on the few things that worked and ignored the rest. And in the book The 4-Hour Workweek, Tim shares the main technique he uses to become so extremely effective in what he does. This technique allowed him to identify the few critical things that would produce the major part of the results he wanted and also allowed him to do or learn these things in the shortest period of time possible. I know it sounds like promising too much, but if someone becomes a gold medalist at a kickboxing championship with only 4 weeks of training, defeating fighters with over 10 years of experience, well, that guy deserves some credit. And it's with that in mind that I now present you the Tim Ferriss productivity technique. What Tim actually does is, he combines two very popular productivity tips. As he said, there are two synergistic approaches for increasing productivity that are inversions of each other. Limit tasks to the important to shorten work time and shorten work time to limit tasks to the important. These two popular productivity tips complement each other. His technique consists in using them both for maximum productivity. To limit tasks to the important and shorten work time, you use the 80-20 principle and to shorten work time and limit tasks to the important, the Parkinson's law. The 80-20 principle, as I said before, is a very popular rule, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about it, but for those of you who haven't, this law was born when the Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto noticed that approximately 80% of the wealth in this country was possessed by only 20% of the population and that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by only 20% of the people there. Clearly, this rule also applies outside of economics. In fact, Pareto developed this principle by observing that the majority of the peas in his garden were produced by few of the pea pods there. So the 80-20 principle in our case would mean that approximately 80% of the results you get comes from 20% of your efforts. 80% of your grades, for example, are produced by only 20% of what you do while studying. And limiting your tasks to the important to shorten work time would mean to identify and focus on the handful of actions you take that generate the most significant part of the results you get, and completely eliminate or delegate all the rest. It only works when you avoid spending time with the meaningless activities. That's why elimination is the crucial part of this technique. Now that you've found these 20% activities and you're working on them, the Parkinson's law is what will allow you to complete these activities in the shortest period of time possible. This law developed by Cyril Parkinson states that a task will expand in relation to the time available for its completion. This means that the amount of time you have to work on a task is the exact amount of time it will take you to finish the task. The amount of time your teacher gives you to prepare for a test is the exact amount of time it will take you to prepare for it, whether it's one week or one night. As Tim said, it is the magic of the imminent deadline. We tend to respond very positively to deadlines. A deadline is so powerful that it gives people the energy and focus enough to complete in a single day 
a task they could not complete in weeks. To use this principle in our favor, we need to be constantly challenging ourselves to finish a task in a shorter period of time, setting new deadlines and reducing the time you have to complete a task. You will become amazed on how productive and effective you can be under a short deadline. Of course there is a limit for the amount of time you can reduce, and that's exactly what we want, to stretch yourself to that limit. The Tim Ferriss technique consists in combining the 80-20 principle with the Pareto's law for maximum productivity. He limits tasks to the important to shorten work time, aka 80-20 principle, and shortens work time to limit tasks to the important, the Parkinson's law. The best solution, as he said, is to use both together. Identify the few critical tasks that contribute most to your results and schedule them with very short and clear deadlines. For me, this technique resumes and clearly explains all there is about productivity and effectiveness. I mean, once you've defined and have been working on the vital few activities that produce the major part of your results and you've been challenging yourself to complete these activities in the shortest time possible, what else could you do to become more productive? So this is the Tim Ferriss productivity technique I wanted to share with you. I hope the video added some value to you and if it did, feel free to subscribe to this channel to become 1% better and also to check out a similar channel I run named The Modeler for more self-improvement techniques modeled from the masters.